But of nine games left to play of the season, we are 10 points away from seventh. I'm just saying, it's never too late for a European football push. Welcome to Club 3, part 2 of the Globe Explorers. In today's episode, we shall be playing our Premier League matches against Man United and Arsenal. So, since the last episode, our form has been absolutely magnificent. We did beat Wilson in the FA Cup side round, then we lost against Ipswich in the, in the fourth round, which is quite embarrassing because Ipswich are a championship side. Actually, you know what? Speaking of championship, our Sheffield Wednesday... Oh, Sheffield Wednesday have dropped down a little bit. I suspect they're still going to finish in the playoffs, which isn't bad for them, but I'm hoping they do get promoted to the Premier League. I very much doubt it, but Premier League-wise, our form's been amazing. We've only lost one game, and that was a 1-0 defeat against Tottenham. Apart from that, a 0-0 draw against Liverpool. That's, that's not too shabby. Wins against Newcastle and Fulham. A 2-1 win over Man City, that's pretty good. A 3-1 win over Chelsea, a 3-2 win over Everton. I suspect we're going to beat Man United and Arsenal, or if not, get a draw. I don't think we're going to lose against them, because we played quite well against the big teams. Minus Tottenham, but I don't class Tottenham as a big team. Apart from that, we have done a little bit of transfer business, actually. Um, in, it, in that show, is joining Southampton at the end of the season for 13.75 million so that's gone into the transfer budget we haven't signed we haven't signed anyone yet but well, not like pre-summer transfer window signings we have signed we have sold a few players first one being Antoine Davies joined our read for 10.5 million Andre Franco has joined Sporting CP for 26.5 million and Hamza Chowdhury has gone out on loan to Menorca and then to to replace those players we have signed Hector Forte he is a Spanish right back two and a half star current ability four star potential good championship player at the moment he's literally a backup to Livermento he's on loan from Barcelona for the rest of this season so hopefully he can make sort of an impact he has already got one assist so not too bad and next loan to signing is Paul Cabrasi. He's another Spanish centre back for two and a half star currency, four star potential. He's a championship player, but potentially Premier League. He's on loan from Chelsea. Another one that started off at Barcelona, which is not bad. He made a, three appearances. At, yeah, three appearances for the first team. Two starts, one off the bench. That's, that's not too bad. He's only played one game. So hopefully uh, he might play a couple more games. Then last signing for this year, I think, is Jockey Manson. He's a Danish centre-back. Three and a half star current ability. Decent Premier League player. We signed him from Arsenal for 15.75 million. Arsenal made quite a loss on him. That's about like 30 million loss. So, I mean, they were absolutely insane spending that much money on him. And he only played three games he's played more games for us than he has for arsenal that's absolutely ridiculous why would they spend 43 and a half million on him and not play him that is absurd but league table wise we are in 14 in the table like i said 10 points off seven so you never know you never know with this game but a win against man united could do our european football push Good deal. I'm, I'm not going to go for European football, but if we happen to get there, we get there. I don't want to get there. That that could be done for next year, but you never know. Miracles happen, and this might not might be one of them. So the lineup to try and beat Man United will be Alvarado, Fernandez in goal, a back four of Livermento, Cabasi, Sonne and Lewis, Sangari and Dominguez in the midfield. He did reject that move to Ajax so you never know he might sign a new contract but we have promised him he can go if a bid of 34 million is received before he gets released 
then we've got Salai on the right ring. Lookman has injured himself and probably will be out for the rest of this season. He's out for another two to three months. I suspect you won't be out, you won't be seeing him again. Mind you, he is joining permanently at the end of this year, so you will see him next season, just not this season. Then we've got Gibbs White in the middle and Chiquinho on the left. Then Ian Nacho up front. Come on, lads. Let's... Hopefully get a win. I'm not sure how good Man United are. Are they, if they're like the Man United in real life, where they're very inconsistent, it should be quite an easy win. Who do they have? They've still got Rasmus Schoiland. They've got Rashford. I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised he hasn't left. Come on, Sangare. Is that true? That's a goal. <laughs> About to for the line. I'm sure of it. Maybe not. No. Oh my god, we are we were very close to getting a opening goal there. Victor Rocky has got the ball recently joined Barcelona. I don't think he's recently joined, but he's he certainly agreed to move, so that should be on the new update in the in spring, I think. Possibly. I very much doubt it, or at the very least it's certainly be on FM twenty five. Gibbs right, in that show, plays the ball to Livermento. Now we break. We've got players forward. Come on, Livermento, cross it. That's not bad here. That show might get there. He doesn't. Goes out to Lewis. Dominguez. This is looking very prom promising. It's a lie. That's not a penalty. It's a, it's a free kick. But is it going to be a cause for Martinez? Is it? Oh, we're not going with it. It was outside the box. Yeah, it's obvious. It's quite a bit outside. What well, even on the line? Lewis has got the free kick. Oh my god, god, come on, let's quick get the ball back in the box. Chiquinho hits the post. Lewis gets out the ball. He does go down the box. I don't think the referee's going to give that one. No, he does not. It's a very promising start, I must say. I'm very surprised we haven't gone one no up. We hit the rub mark at least once or twice in that move. So I reckon we can grab at least a couple goals this game. If maybe win the match. Lewis. Oh, it's wide off the goal. That ah, he could have done a little bit better, but it's it's all good at the moment because Man United have not started at all. They've oh my god, Sangari with a beautiful header just wide off the post. Hey, Man United have now had one shot, one on target. I I suspect they're not. I don't think they're going to get a goal before half time, but they do have a highlight here. Martinez plays the ball to Manu. Rashford hits the crossbar. I'm sure he was offside. He was there. Yeah. I know, confirming my um, thoughts. Hakimi has got the throw. Throws it to Christensen. Back to Shibeni. Manu, back to Shibeni. Can we get the ball, please? They've still got uh, Onana. Clearly, um, he's doing something well on this game because it's 2029 at the moment and he's still at Man United, so he must be doing quite well. Sangare has got the ball. Plays it out to Lewis. Chiquinho! Oh, it's just wide. Was it offside? I don't think he was offside. I think he ran out for a goal kick. So close. I'm not sure how we are not one them up, but we we haven't had any shots on target as of yet. Chiquinho, come on. That's not bad. That's brilliant, brilliant kept from Chiquinho. Lifermento, Salai. Yes, it's 1-0 to Nottingham Forest. We've been all over Man United this first half. I'm very pleased about it because... Man United have been absolute shocking. It's about time we got a goal. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Seven points behind seven. I'm just saying it is possible. We've got a pretty easy run. And get the Arsenal game out of the way. Most of the matches are actually winnable, I think. I haven't actually looked at the running yet, but we'll take a look after, after we've uh, played the Arsenal game. Come on, Lewis. If we can get a second goal here, I'm just saying, I think we probably won this game. I think we won it anyway, but I think a second goal could do us the world of good. Lewis Chiquinho has got the ball, loses the ball. Can somebody get it back? Gibbs White tries to get it back, but he does lose the ball almost instantly. Rashford is through. He hits the post, but he was offside. Come on. Seriously need to get a second goal, please, as soon as possible. Because Man United, they're knocking on the door. They haven't had 
too many chances, but it's Man United. They don't need any that many chances to get a goal. Right, substitution time. I think we are we're gonna get on Richards for Lewis. Uh, uh, who else? Dominguez off for Miley. And I think we'll also get on Avenue for Ihiatro. Because all we'll do for now, we might make a couple more subs near the end of the match. Don't really know. See how what see what the result is. Uh, come on. Twenty minutes left to play. Still one 0 up. Can we get a second goal? I I'll happily hold on to the one 0 lead, but just uh, ease my nerves. Can we get a second goal? Come on, Richards has got the throw. Throws it to Miley. Richards, Sagari, Richards, cross it. Come on, cross it. Oh my God, Salai, Livermento crosses it. Oh come on, Salai, that's a beautiful effort, but. And then just not enough power on the shot. Come on, Fernandez whips it to Soleil. I say whips it, actually, it's quite a short pass. I can't say whip it. Come on, Sangare. Come on. Oh, that's unlucky. Shirabelli has got the ball. Now it's with Shirky. Does he shoot? Harland. Oh, no, not Harland. Hoyland puts the ball into the back of the net for the equaliser for Man United. I'll take a model draw against Man United. It's not the worst result. Oh, I'll take it. Come on. Are we going to get a late goal? Or late, late, just a late corner? Just anything? No? Oh, that's, it's not a bad. It's not a bad result. I, I will definitely take that against Man United. Very positive. I mean... In terms of chances created, we didn't really create that much. I, on another day, we could have had a second goal, but just wasn't to me. But it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Right, let's hope we can try and get a very least a draw or maybe a win against Arsenal. The lineup for a match against Arsenal will be Fernandez in goal, a back four for Livermento, Kabasi. Alvarez and Richards, Sagare and Dominguez in the midfield. Then we've got Salai on the right, Gibbs White in the middle, Chiquinho on the left, and Kaleki in that show up front. Come on, lads. Let's get a win, if not a draw. Definitely don't want to lose. I'll take a point. A point against Arsenal, that's not too bad. They are second in the league. I'm not sure if they're in a title fight. No, no definitely not. Definitely not in a title fight. Yeah, they're, they're quite a bit off. Uh, Man City have pretty much won the Premier League. If we could get a win here, I reckon Man City have probably literally won the Premier League. It would certainly help them out. Erdegaard whips in the corner, and it's a goal for Gabriel. That's a good header, back post, but, well, near post, but the header was towards the back post. <sighs> so unlucky. It really is unlucky. I mean, whoever this guy was, he could give swipe. You could have tried to stop it. You could have like used the hands or something. I mean, they would have got you set off, but try try and do anything to stop a goal from going in. Well, that's a that's a good chance from Jan Kuto. Let's go out for a corner. Can we get this one cleared? I do suspect this one is going to be quite a tough game today. Because come on, now we're on the break with Salai. He's not good at all. He's Thought that, thought that counter was actually going to lead to something, but nope, nothing at all. Come on, lads, we've got 15 minutes left into our time. Can we get a goal or just like a shot, please? Jesus plays the ball to Havertz. Havertz has got the ball. Does he cross it? Plays the ball out to Timber. Havertz again. And, and Trevani. Oh, no. Who the hell is he? Who is Claudio? Eshafiri, who, who the hell is he? Or was he some sort of a new gen? Who is he? No, nope, he's a Argentinian. Is he one of these ones of kids? <laughs> I think he is. Oh, God. I did suspect Arsenal was going to be a, a tricky game, but I didn't realise they were going to be this good. Oh, my God. That's all. That's a good save from Alvaro Fernandez. 
I don't think it was creeping in, but it might have been. But it's good safe anyway. Hey, Zeus. Oh, that's another good transfer. Arsenal, so far, they I'd say they've been the better side. If we can get a goal before half time, that it, we just say there might be a chance if we can get a couple more goals in the second half. But if we don't, um, it's looking quite hard to make a, some form of comeback. Chiquinho, come on. Come on, Chiquinho. Gibbs White puts it wide. Oh, if that was, if we could go get a goal from that highlight, it would have been good, but we just didn't. Just couldn't find, quite find the target. All right, come on. Ten minutes, so we'll, I'll make some subs. Come on, lads. Got to do something. Right, substitution time. Gibbs White is going to come off for Miley. Richards off for Anderson. Alvarez can sort of play out on the left. He can play out on the left quite well, actually. And I think we'll also get off Livermento for Fort. I think that's it for now. Come on, lads. Half an hour left. We've got, we've got to try and get a goal. We're going to drop some encouragement and you hope we can find a just one goal. I'm not sure if we'll get two, but I'll happily get, just get one goal against Arsenal. Come on. We've got a free kick. Anderson is going to take it. Why is Anderson taking a free kick? He's a defender. He's not going to score this, is he? Oh my god. It was close. It was a decent opportunity. Anderson plays the ball back to Dominguez. Nothing comes from it. It's poor opportunity, that. A missed opportunity. Come on. 10 minutes left. I don't think we're going to get a goal. Uh, it's unlucky because we des definitely deserve a goal. We've had chances, but just haven't been we just haven't been clinical enough. <sighs> we did ourselves proud. I just messed up the team talk. Let's hope I haven't lost the dressing room yet. I don't think I have, but you never know. <sighs> We're still nine points off, so well. We play the game more than everyone else, so we're probably about at least 12 points off now, I think. So, I'd say European um, dreams are, are slowly slimming away after that draw. Or oh, defeat, actually. So, we've got, well, if we're going to have any hopes of European football, which I'm, well, I'm, I'm going to save up for next year, but if we do, we have to win pretty much every game, which I firmly believe we can do. So, I will see you all tomorrow, I think it'll be tomorrow, uh, where we'll be playing our final Premier League matches of the season against Brighton and Bournemouth. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Daily Football Manager videos, and thank you very much for watching.